Now, when you log in, you always see this graphic, this image. And you'll see login screen. You'll see this space image that they've got out there <laughs> as their default background. I don't know about you, but that's not the most attractive picture that I can think of. In fact, I kind of like that little daisy one that I have a little bit better. Well, if you have your own image that you want to change, that you want to put in place of it, you can do that. Let me show you. Let me close out of that. Let me show you where this file is located, first of all. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I mentioned up here about trying to show this menu thing. If you go up, if you come up here under any window and go to View, Show View Options, I'm sorry, Customize Toolbar. We already did Show View Options. <laughs> If you go to Customize Toolbar, you'll see things that you can add. And one of the things, like you can, you can rearrange things. You can say, I want this over here. I want that there. Whatever you can do that. Add a spacer if you want to. Um, get info. If you want to get info, that's a handy one. One of the things I like a lot is Path. And I like Path up there a lot. That's a favorite of mine. Now, some people like Eject or Create a New Folder, so you don't have to go to the File menu to do that. And you can also say Icon Only, or you can say icon and text. And you can say use small size if you want. And that way you can see what it is if you don't know what it is. I'll go ahead and leave the text on there and I'll click, click done. So now if I want to see where is this file, here's the hierarchy. It's in on the Macintosh hard drive, in my system folder, in library, inside core services. I'm going to go to find that again just to show you. So I'm going to my hard drive and in there don't be confused by that library. You want to go to the big system with the big X on it. You double click, and this works for both Leopard and Snow Leopard. Because I've tested it on both. Open up library, and then come down to your core services. Open that one, and there's the file. That's the file that it uses to pull up whenever it's going to the login screen. So you double click, and there's your file. And what you want to do is to find out how big it is. Because to make another one to replace it, you're going to need to make one the same size. So you go to Tools and Adjust Size. Now you're not going to adjust it, but you want to see how big it is. So we come over here and we go Pixels, not Inches. You want to see Pixels. And this is the current size that it has. So it's 2560 by 1600. So you write that down somewhere and make note because you're going to take one of your images and you're going to modify it to be 2560 wide by 1600 big. And then what you're going to do is you're going to name it the same name as this file, defaultdesktop.jpg, and replace it. Okay? So, good way to do that, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to really mess this one up. I want to save it just in case. What I want to do is to go into something like iPhoto and you can resize in iPhoto your images. So we can pick one. So let's say I want to ask the techies to be the splash screen. Well, I look over here and I can see that this is only a 1920 by 1080, so it's not big enough. It's not big enough to be able to do the 26, 2560 over 2000 pixels. So I need a bigger picture, one taken with a. Now I could make more blue background around this in something like Photoshop, but if I have one that I took with a, a bigger megapixel camera, like this one, this Daisy one, it's big enough. It's 4416 by 3312. And so if I want to edit it, all I got to do is click the edit button right here. And then I can go to crop. And it's going to the constraint it has right now is 1360 by 768, but I want something that's actually 2560. Well, I don't see one that's 2560. So what I can do is do custom. And that's where I can write in 2560. Come over to the next box and put in 16 100 and there we go hit tab and then it gives me the box and then I can draw one around what I want and it's going to automatically keep the right proportion and then I can choose whether I want to go more up more down or even zoom in a little tighter if I want um, just want to make sure I have enough space for the pixels but I'm I like the whole picture so I'm just going to do it this way um, that one or that one? Ooh, hard to choice. I'm going to choose this one at the bottom. And then what I can do is click uh, Apply. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to do this to your original, let me click Cancel real quick and click Done. You can duplicate your image. Just go to Edit, uh, or is it Photos? Photos, Duplicate. 
and you can create a duplicate so you don't mess up your original one if you really do like your, your original one. And you can see this one's a copy. So what I'm going to do is now edit this one. We'll go through these steps again. This is good because you'll really get this down. Crop. And then I do 25. Hey, I remember my 2560 by 1600. Yay, I don't have to type that in again. So then I pull this down. This is in your way. You can pull it up here so you can make sure the image looks the way you want. And then you can click Apply. Because remember, your login screen is going to be right here in the middle. So, I mean, you could pull it up and have the login screen right here and still see the daisy. So, maybe I'll go right there. Yeah. And I'll click Apply. And then I click Done. Okay. And then what I want to do is just drag that out to my desktop. That'll be good enough for now. I'm going to hide iPhoto. And what I want to do is to replace this image. So this one's called default desktop.jpg. So I'm going to click on that. Hit return. No, it's not letting me rename it automatically. So what I need to do is just rename one. So I'm just going to go over here. And I'm going to call this one the same thing. Capital D, E, F, A, U, L, T. Capital D, just like the other one. In fact, I'm going to just to make sure, I'm going to make that all lowercase jpg as well. Now, I don't really want to risk, in case I really screwed things up, I think I may want to actually take this one out and not delete it. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, just drag this one over to my pictures folder. A newer item called already exists. Uh, let me click stop because I think I had one that I did as a trial. Let me just drag it into my main, into my documents folder. So it copied it. You don't know if you heard that little pong, it tells me it copied it. If you're not sure, you can click on the documents folder and there you see it. So I have a backup of it because it made a copy. Now this one I'm going to send to the trash. And it prompts me to type in my password for this. And I said yes, they're in the trash. And then I'm going to drag this one in. Authenticate. Because I'm changing a system here, a whole system. And now it replaced it. So now instead of getting that other splash screen, I'm going to get the one that I want. So let's test it and see if it works. So I'm going to log out here and uh, go to the login window. What do we get? <gasps> I have my pretty daisies now. I don't have that weird like I'm flying through some psychedelic space trip uh, image on there. I have something that's a lot more pleasing in my login screen. And this will be true for all, the all users on this computer now because we changed it in the main system folder in the library in there, not your specific user folder library. We did the big one. So now this will be true for all of them. So that's another way for you to customize. Other tips you have, tips on how you've customized your Mac that you'd like for me to share on the show, I'd be glad to hear them. Um, so send me your ideas as well as your questions on things you want to try to do with your Mac or on Windows. Uh, mostly we're Mac, but we do do handle some Windows stuff. Uh, but you can send them to us at questions at askthetechies.com. I am going to, um, this brings up a question about Windows 7. I am going to have a show talking briefly about Windows 7. I've been playing around with it. There's so many features, there's no way I could possibly cover all of them. There's no way I'm going to be, provide a big tutorial on how to use Windows 7. What I can say is if you're using Windows Vista, upgrade. Upgrade now. Upgrade as fast as you can <laughs> because it is much more stable, very functional. I think it's a great choice. You might want to wait a little bit till some bugs are worked out before you switch over from XP. Um, because some things aren't working fully with it, not everything's up to date with it, but soon I would suspect that you'll want to switch up to Windows 7. Uh, I've been very pleased with it, uh, very delighted. All right, so anyway, send us your questions. Thanks for watching.